Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the online class of English Grammar for Grade 4. Here I am your teacher Mrs. Naula. And today we are going to study a new lesson whose title is Irregular Verbs. You will find this new topic on page 71 and page 72. As you know, the verb is a word that describes the action of any person, the action of any object, the action of anything. The work or job being done by any person or thing is grammatically called a verb. There are a lot of verbs. My dear boys, you cannot even count the number of verbs in English grammar. But there are two main divisions or classes of verbs in English grammar. We call them regular and irregular verbs and that is our topic. We have to differentiate whether the given verb is regular or irregular. So there are certain rules and regulations we have to abide by while going through the lesson. Regular past tense verbs end with ed. Irregular past tense verbs do not end with ed. For example, ask, ask, ask. So ask is a regular verb because you will find ed at the end of past tense of ask. Ask, ask. Help, help, help. Help is also a regular verb because you will find help and helped in English grammar books. On the other hand, write, W-R-I-T-E, write, write, wrote, written. There is no ED at the end of past and past participle form. So write will be an irregular verb. The verbs be and have also irregular spellings for the present and past tenses. Here are some examples of regular verbs like beg, 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 boil, boiled, boiled, brush, brushed, brushed, Bury, buried, buried, find, found, found, call, called, called. Their present forms are given here and past and past participle forms are identical to each other. So grammatically we will call them regular verbs. On the other hand you will see these irregular verbs because their past and past participle forms are totally different. Okay, And you will not find any ed or d like blow, blue, blown. Buy, bought, bought, catch, caught, caught, be, was, being, awake, awoke, awoken. So these are irregular verbs. On page 71, please read each sentence and underline the verb. On the line, write the correct past tense form of the verb. Page 71, number 1. We drive all night to my cousin's house. The verb I have highlighted with blue color is drive. The past of drive is draw. So the students will write draw as the answer D R O V E. Number two, the child break the glass vase. The past of break is broke. B R O K E broke. Please write broke on the line. Number three, the bumblebee is on a flower. The past of is will be was. W A S was. Number four, Carlos go to school late today. The past of go is went. Please write went on the line. W E N T. If you replace go with went, then the given sentence will be 100% correct. Call us went to school late today. The same is the case with number 5. The sentence which is given in the book is wrong because of eat. She eat everything on her plate. I am reading as given in the book. But if you replace eat with the past tense, so then you cannot call it uh, wrong one. She ate everything on her plate. Please write ate, ate, e, ate on the line. Number six, we see all the water in the basement. See, saw, see. So the past of see is saw. Number seven, I feel sick after breakfast this morning. Feel, felt, felt. Please write felt on the line. You come to my winter concert last night. Come, came, come. So came is the past of come. Please write came on the line. Number nine. He has a book about sharks in the ocean. Has, had, had. So had is the past of has. Please write had on the line. H A D. For number nine. On page 71, we have the last one. The rain begin to fall outside. Begin, begin, begun. So our past tense. Uh, the past verb for begin will be begin, B-E-G-A-N. My dear students, here you have some examples of irregular verbs. Teach, taught, taught, buy, bought, bought, speak, spoke, spoken, do, did, done, sell, sold, sold, 
like you will not find any ed or ied at the ending of these verbs so grammatically we will call them irregular verbs and here you have some examples of regular verbs accept accepted accepted ask 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 call 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 decide decided decided because you will find ed or d at the ending of their past and past participle forms we will proceed to our page 72 page 72 asks us to read each sentence circle the word twice in parentheses so that it com correctly completes the sentences then write capital r on the line if it is a regular verb and write capital i if it is an irregular verb Number one, the workers slowly built the house. The workers slowly built the house. The verb built is the correct option and also it is irregular. Number two, she folded the laundry before putting it away. Folded is the regular verb. Please write capital R on the line. Number three, I smell the pie baking from down the street. Smell, smell, smell. So, according to the rules of the book, we will declare smell as an irregular verb. Please write capital I on the line. Number four. My mother set the table earlier. Set, set, set. So, set is an irregular verb because there is no set it or set it in English grammar books. So, we will call it an irregular verb. Number five. Together we drew a picture of our family. Drew is the correct option here. We will call it an irregular verb. Draw this wrong. Okay. Number six. They had known that this would happen. The sentence belongs to past perfect tense. So we will use known along with had. They had known that this would happen. So known will be an irregular verb. Number seven. My teacher smiled when she saw me come into the class. My teacher smiled when she saw me come into class. Smiled is a regular verb. Please write capital R on the line. Number eight. The monkeys have stolen all of the bananas. This is a sentence from present perfect tense. So along with have, we will use the past participle form of steal. Steal, stole, stolen. Stolen is the correct option. And also we will call it an irregular verb number nine she has done all the chores already do did done so done is an irregular verb the last one my shot an arrow at the target shoot short short so short is an irregular verb so far we have concluded our pages 71 and 72 these two pages are dealing with regular and irregular verbs here you have your homework you will study all the regular and irregular verbs on these two pages and revise the classwork. Thank you very much for attending the online class and have a nice time.